boxes fill up Paul Scott's new garage. The shed they were supposed to go in, just a flimsy frame, unfinished in the backyard. Well, stuff has been uh, in your family for years and years, you know, generation, two or three generations, and you have to part with it, you know, which would look like what we're going to have to do. Scott and his wife are downsizing and needed a new shed built outside of their home. We found a guy that uh, told me he could do the job within about six to seven days. We talked to him and his prices were a little better than anybody else's. But he wanted money up front. We give him $3,000-something, $3,200 cash, got a receipt from him. He left immediately. Scott tells us the man initially told him his name was Kyle, Kyle Jones with Gen 1 Construction. But on the receipt, he signed Kai. Scott's son did some digging on that name and found this, Kai Jones's criminal history. Jones has small claims court cases out of Muskogee County for starting jobs, taking money, and then never finishing them. He has an outstanding warrant stemming from a similar case in 2016. And after Scott hired Jones, these bad reviews popped up on the Gen 1 Construction Facebook page. We called the number listed for Gen 1 Construction. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. But no one picked up. Scott is on a fixed income, and with the move and major health problems, he says they don't know what to do with all of their stuff. Well, it's just about learns us. We're just, we're just out of money. Scott contacted the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office to make a report, but was told it's a civil matter and he'll have to take the case to small claims court. Aaron Conrad, Two Works For You.